Hi, my name is Joe Clark. I'm a principal architect with Rolta Advisics, and today we're going to be talking about VMware Workspace ONE and the components that make up the solution. As we look at the marketplace, we see that folks are using a large number of devices. Most analysts report that people are using anywhere between three and five devices day in and day out to get their jobs done. We might see Windows laptops, iPhones, desktops, Samsung tablets, Chromebooks, and Apple laptops proliferate IT enterprises everywhere as a manner of getting access to their applications. A big part of what VMware has done has come forward with a solution called Workspace ONE. And when we talk about Workspace ONE, there's multiple different components, and that's the point of this video, is really to highlight the difference between them and what they make up. As we look at the three primary components for Workspace ONE, the first one that we see is a product called UEM. And Workspace ONE UEM is unified endpoint management. And what this means is that we have a single solution that was previously known as AirWatch that manages Windows devices, Samsung devices, iOS, Android, MacBooks, and can natively push executables and MSIs, can natively push DMG and PKG packages for Mac, can natively push mobile applications for each of the respective mobile platforms, and then can control native app stores and the applications contained within for each of the various platforms. All those applications come into Workspace ONE UEM and can then be distributed out to those native endpoints in the field. And this is Workspace ONE UEM. Now, there are some applications that might not be native for each of these platforms. And a great example of that is if you're running Microsoft Visio, that's not going to run on a MacBook natively. So how do we handle something like that? That's where we bring a component to bear known as Virtual Desktop Infrastructure, which has been around for quite some time. This product in the VMware stack is VMware Horizon. And in VMware Horizon, we've got a couple different ways that we can deliver those applications. We can deliver in a desktop virtual machine, such as Windows 10 or Windows 7. And we can also deliver what's known as RDSH applications. And that's an individual application that is published and run independently of other applications. And in the case of Visio running on a MacBook, we might say, the only application I really need to run that I can't access natively is Visio. So I might run an RDSH application from my MacBook in order to get that knocked out. Now, there are other applications apart from native applications that get installed and ones that are accessed remotely in the data center. And a big part of the ones that we see is this massive proliferation recently of cloud services. And when we look at the different services that are starting to be provided out there, we see any number of different providers that are coming up with unique and creative solutions for solving business problems, such as Salesforce, Box.com, and Office 365, all being popular SaaS models for software consumption. One of the interesting things that comes about with the proliferation of cloud services is how do we handle authentication for those? And for that, we have Identity as a Service provided by VMware Identity Manager, which serves as that sort of middle ground where all identity and access hangs together, not just for cloud applications, but as well as entitlement to individually published applications, virtual desktop pools, and an application catalog that can store published applications that get installed natively onto the native device, which is incredibly powerful. And as we look at expanding cloud solutions, there's a number of different ways that we can actually additionally provide virtual desktops and applications in the cloud. And a big couple of those are Horizon on VMware Cloud on AWS and Horizon Cloud. And these applications as well are tied into VMware Identity Manager, which can tie all of the identity together for all the solutions. And again, Identity Manager being a key part of the solution as it provides multi-factor authentication, step up, step down, off, and can really provide that one place to log in to get applications, whether they're run in the cloud, whether they're hosted in the cloud, or whether they need to be pushed to your native device. And with the Workspace ONE solution, we really see that at the end of the day, we can get any app on any device pretty much at any time. Thanks for watching.